Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, Afternoon Express had the pleasure of visiting the Westlake United Church Trust and bearing witness to the amazing work that they're doing in their community to help uplift the lives of orphans and vulnerable children living in the area. We gave out some food and refreshments and we were treated to some incredible talent. Now, if you'd love to lend a helping hand to the wonderful work that the uh, Westlake United Church Trust is doing in their community, please visit the website on the strap below to make your donation. Every little bit counts. Afternoon Express is all about supporting and uplifting the community. So today we visit the area of Westlake where we will be giving away food and cool drinks to the community's most vulnerable but ever so talented children. Varashni, tell me a little bit about the work that you do here at the Westlake United Church Trust. About 17 years ago, six churches, together with the philanthropist Jamie McGregor, they got together and they decided, instead of doing individual works as a church, that they would form a trust. And the core mission pillars, which we still do today, are education. That's our creche, Emmanuel Educare on the, on the left. In this building, Westlake United Church Trust, we focus on child protection. At the moment, we have 72 children. We also have home-based care, and we see 400 clients for free in Westlake and the surrounding areas. So we're doing a lot for the community, and we target the really desperate, the vulnerable, because our goal is a hand up, not a hand out. I've been working on off for like seven years here, because I worked, went away, and came back. and. When I came back now, I mostly focused on working with children, actually moms and babies, from pregnancy right up until they're two years old. But we also focus on children under five. I think people rely on this community for so many different things. They know that the doors are always open to anyone. No matter who you are, there's no discrimination. and. They know they, they're, just, they're just always welcome. Teacher Dolly, you spend so many hours a day taking care of these beautiful children. What does this Emmanuel Edu Centre mean to the community? This Emmanuel Edu Care to them is something like wow. Because even in school holiday, some of them saw me on the road. Teacher Dolly, when the school is open, I want to go to school because I don't want to be at home. Something like that. Oh, you know, the, 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 the most that I can give to them is love. So, who here is five years old? Put up your hand. You're five, you're five, you're five! Jenna, please do tell me about some of the projects that take place here and what difference does it make in the community? It makes a lot of difference. It first started as like poverty relieving and just... But um, as it grows, I sometimes think that the sewing room is like a therapy room. Because as we are cutting and we broken pieces and we're putting the pieces together, that God is putting us all together. There's a, there's a whole healing going on. A good day for me is when that person comes in the morning, you see that person is down, drotted, and that person is just a... And so, yeah, when we have a few laughs and a dance or two, that person is like... You know, you get worth, you feel worthy of yourself once you created something. Usually on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, we have what we call life skills and grief and loss. In our community, most of our children lost their parents either to HIV or they're affected or infected by um, HIV. So we get to have grief and loss, we sit down, we talk to them. So they get to feel free, they get to talk about that, and then we come to an understanding, we counsel each other. The children are the future. As the receptionist, you are the first point of call. What emotions do you go through on a daily basis, seeing the pain and trauma coming in? When I see the child, I cry for the child. But uh, when I go into my storeroom there, and I take some dolls out and <laughs> things they can play with and give them something nice to eat. They will always smile at me and say, thank you, Auntie Patricia. We love you. And I say, thank you. I really appreciate it. 
I can't help but to feel good. I mean, to me, we're giving away food here to the kids. How does it feel to give back? Girl, you know our ethos in Afternoon Espresso is to always give back. So for me, this just feels like home, doing what I love. And you know I love babies, you know I love kids. So this is just the best thing for us to be doing right now. How important is having a healthy, balanced diet to these young ones? It's very important because that actually is the basis of them growing. So if they get the good, nutritious food now, they're actually building on to become bigger, stronger people. You know, we need to be strong, we need to be healthy. So this is the foundation of that. The best part of working here is that every day is something different. There's success stories and there's miracles. And just knowing in your week that you're gonna see at least one miracle. So many children come back to our preschool to say that they're in university, they're in the trick, and some of them have come through harrowing trials. Working here is not just a job, it's a calling, because you, you are holding somebody's hand and you're walking with that person. And, and just to know that a child's life has changed, you've changed the next generation. It really does take a village to create a difference in our communities. And Afternoon Express is proud to work with organizations like these to uplift the area. Remember, the biggest of changes can come from the smallest acts of kindness. Woo! Time to guys!